Welcome back everyone to another video and in today's episode we're gonna create a very very simple material that will allow us to procedurally generate foliage on top of our landscape. Now this is gonna work for Unreal Engine 5 and it's gonna work for Unreal Engine 4. There is really no difference in this uh, basic setup right here. Obviously it can go way deeper and way more advanced uh, but we're gonna make this very very simple so it's easy and fast to understand. Now what essentially we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to paint different uh, materials on top of our landscape so we're gonna have a bunch of materials and based on the strength they are going to blend together quite nicely so if we blend this a little bit as you can see it is blending quite nicely and uh, also we're gonna have a couple of materials that are gonna have no foliage whatsoever on them but we can also go ahead and create ourselves a material that has a foliage So for this whole thing, we're going to need a couple of things. Uh, we're going to need some textures for the landscape, for the ground basically, and we are going to need some uh, foliage grasses. Uh, so I have a, uh, I actually have one model. I made five, five copies of this and I just simply recolored the material so that we can see the difference uh, and basically so that these five would have uh, each a different separate color. So the first thing that we need to do is obviously let's start off and let's create a very basic material. So I'm going to call this uh, landscape master. Let's pop that open and inside of here we're going to need to add our textures. So I'm going to go ahead and bring all of these inside of here. Uh, we don't need the brick one. So I'm going to use these six. There we go. We have these six, six textures in. Now I'm going to separate the normal maps and the regular textures like this. Make sure they are in the same uh, the same order. So we have the uh, we have the dirt, then we have the grass, and then we have the uh, ground. So we have dirt, grass, ground. There we go. So we have all of these, and this is very important. Uh, this is going to allow us to paint these, and this is also going to allow us to uh, spawn the foliage on top of these specific layers. So I'm going to have a one extra dirt layer, which will not have the foliage. So what I'm going to do is just copy this uh, grass part, uh, not the dirt, yeah, I, I think I said dirt, uh, the grass one. And then I'm going to have another copy over here. So essentially I will have two grasses. Uh, one of them is going to have that uh, specific foliage painted on and the other one is not. Well, it's not going to be generated. Now, what we need to look for is a landscape blend, landscape layer blend, this guy right here. And we need to add a couple of entries to this. So we have four different types. So we're going to add four entries to this. So one, two, three, four, there we go. And what we can then name these. So this, the name is very important. We got to remember this name because we're going to use it later. So this is going to be the dirt, uh, dirt blend. And then the next one is going to be the grass empty blend, because this is the one that's not going to have the foliage attached to it. And then I'm just going to have the grass blend, which is going to have this uh, foliage attached to that. And the last one was the ground blend. There we go. So then we pop all of our um, the textures in. So the RGB like this, like this, like this, and like this. And then this can be our basic color. Now we need the exact same thing. So I'm just going to copy and paste exactly the same node. So over here for the normals. So we're going to do that real quick. Here we go and plug this into the normals. Obviously this can be done way more complicated, but uh, just for the foliage generation, uh, we're going to keep this very simple. So then I'm going to have two very basic constants, uh, zero and one, zero for the metallic and specular and one for the roughness. There we go. So now if we would save this, and let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a landscape. We can already actually paint this. So I'm going to go ahead, create ourselves a landscape. And this is going to use our landscape master material. There we go. I'm going to make this slightly smaller. We don't need this to be this big for the tutorial purposes. There we go. Seems to be all right. We're going to create that. And it's going to turn out black. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to remove these walls, remove this floor for now. And now we can select our landscape. 
we can go to the landscape tool we can go to the paint and now we have these four layers as you can see over here there should be four layers in the painting uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create this layer info so go ahead click the plus sign and create the weight blended layer so this is going to keep the information about in which area of the landscape which texture should be painted and at what, at what value so we can save that there we go we have that as you can see instantly boom all of them turn this color so let's go ahead let's create a couple of more we need one for every single one of these if we want to use all of these so that's exactly what i'm going to do and there we go so now we can select any of these and as soon as we paint it as you can see we are painting over a different material obviously you can change the brush sizes the brush uh, fall offs the strength of it and this way you can start blending multiple materials together so as you can see if we slowly paint this you can see these are starting to blend like so so that's pretty cool that's an interesting thing to have in your project perhaps well it's probably very very useful <laughs> i'm using this basically in all of my projects so this is uh, really really handy and as you can see they are blending blending together quite nicely so that's that now let's go ahead and let's actually uh, add the foliage to these layers so we have the this grass blend which is going to have the foliage so i'm going to right away just paint this over here so we have some grass over here later on there we go and now let's go ahead let's go back to this one let's go ahead let's open up our Let's open up our master material and here since we have these nodes now we can assign a foliage to a specific layer so i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna look for a grass uh no that's grass oh yeah there it is uh landscape grass output this one right here this is the one that we need and also we need to input input something in this and for that we need to look for a landscape uh, layer sample this one right here there we go so now we need to name this sample whatever the name of the blend layer is so i want to have my grass be attached to the grass blend so it's this one right here so i'm going to copy this name and i'm going to go into this node and i'm going to paste it over here as a parameter name there we go and then we can plug this into the grass there we go once we have done that we got to select the grass node and we need to add some instances to this so we have grass and it requires us to have a grass type but by default well i don't have any we got to create some so to create one what we want to do is just simply right click somewhere we want to go to the foliage and we want to create a landscape grass type and i'm going to call this uh, grass type one i'm going to open this up and i'm going to add a new entry to this now over here we can look for our grass for our static mesh so i have the grass one and then we can here over here we can edit all the properties so we can have the grass density i'm going to bring this a little bit lower so the fps is a little bit higher we can set up the start and end cool distances so when they are going to start to fade away and when they're going to be completely gone so i'm going to set mine to like 2000 up until 4000 it should be way higher uh in in an actual project but over here i want to make it a little bit little bit closer so it's easier to see what's going on and here we can change a couple of more uh, properties like random rotation this is very important so it looks a little bit more natural and all kinds of settings like that now once we have done this we can go back to our landscape master select the grass node and apply this grass type so we're going to select this grass type one we're going to hit save and now once we go to our level it's going to recompile shaders it's going to ask us to rebuild the grass map and in my situation this is also asking me to rebuild the light since i have the lumen disabled and that's exactly what i'm going to do so i'm going to go to the build and i'm going to build the lights and then i'm going to build the uh, grass maps so actually uh, it was uh, compiling shaders for me and once it was done the grass map got uh, generated automatically i guess and then i just simply had to rebuild the lighting only so now as you can see over here we have our grass instances now there's not a lot of them uh, since i lowered the density but we can bump that up a little bit so it's maybe a little bit more visible so i'm gonna bump that higher save that and as soon as we do that we can already see that there is way more grass so we can actually maybe bring this over here so we can see this a little bit better real time so if we bump these numbers up like 800 thousand as you can see there is a lot of lot of lot of grass over here 
There we go. So that looks pretty good. Now the material choice wasn't the greatest, so it's not too well visible, but you can see in the distance as the grass is starting to appear. And there is a lot of foliage over here. So uh, let's go ahead, let's do some more adjustments so that you understand this a little bit better because it's not going to be perfect if you only have just one grass type for just one single layer. So let's say uh, this grass blend layer right here uh, only has one grass type and that's all it has. But let's say we want to have like multiple, uh, multiple foliages per this one uh, texture. So let's say let's use our let's use our let's use the seamless ground maybe. So what we want to do is basically add another uh, entry to our grass node right here. So we want to add a new new entry and I'm going to call this one uh, let's call this ground. This is basically so that we know what we want to put in here and we want to look for another landscape uh, layer sample. And then we want to name that as our ground blend. So this is very important to give it the correct name for the uh, layer blend. And then we can plug that into our ground. Now over here, again, we need another grass type. So what I'm going to do is again, right click, create ourselves a new landscape grass type. And I'm going to call this grass type 2. Let's open this up. Let's add again another entry. Let's select a different grass. So I'm going to have the grass too. And what we can also do, so let me change these. So 2000 by 4000 maybe. And we can add another entry to this and create, uh, select ourselves another grass. And again, I'm going to do the same thing, two by four. And let's add the third one, because let's say we want to have a bunch of different grasses for this specific uh, material. And so, Whenever we do that, so now we have three grass uh, grass instances over here, static meshes. And now if we go to the ground, this one right here, well, as you can see, there really isn't anything. So let's go ahead and let's double check. Oh, we need to, of course, we need to select our grass type. So let's select our grass type in the grass node right here. Save that. And as soon as we do that, it's going to start compiling shaders and the grass is going to start to appear once it's done. So now, as you can see, it has generated our foliage. So we have the red ones, we have the bluish ones and all of those different foliages are getting spawned over here. So there's actually three types, but two of the colors are very, very similar. So we have a purple one and a red one. So those are blending in a little bit too much, but there are three different uh, instances of the foliage. And now it's super, super simple. All we got to do is we can select whatever we want to color. So let's say we want to have green grass over here. Boom, we have green grass over here. We want to have a different grass maybe over there. We just paint that over. And if we just click a little bit, if we don't use the full strength of the brush, if we just use it a little bit, as you can see, they are blending together because the materials are blending and so will the foliage blend as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see, pretty nice and simple, very quick and very, very handy. So that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this useful. And if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.